You would be lying if you said you never regretted buying something the next day. But don't worry, you're not the only one, and it's definitely happened to the best of us. To prevent that from happening with your next snowmobile, we'll show you the top 5 worst snowmobiles you shouldn't buy. But this time, they're even worse. Before we start, let us know what was the worst snowmobile you ever bought. This Polaris was supposed to be a game changer, but when compared to other hot machines from different manufacturers, it's nothing extra. Yes, of course, we're talking about the 2009 Polaris Dragon 600. Don't get us wrong, it could still be worse, but considering the fact that this snowmobile brings you more problems than joy, it's better you avoid it. The two-stroke Polaris Liberty engine can produce 125 horsepower, but what's the point when the Dragon is actually a tippy machine and the inside ski lift is too severe? Not to mention the repetitive piston and cylinder failures. I mean, if there's one person on this planet that doesn't like to go fast and has a point-and-shoot driving style, then it's a match. But for most people, this snowmobile is a waste of time and $9,700. Now this is more of a killer machine that will get you to 130 horsepower in no time. The 1994 Thundercat from Arctic Cat is a classic that was the fastest snowmobile in its best years. But times change, and the only thing this snowmobile is left with is poor suspension and many issues. Another thing is that this machine is huge. Like, we get it, thanks to that it has excellent stability, but imagine trying to move 270 kilograms from one side of the garage to the other. It's safe to say that these modern times are full of light and small snowmobiles that allow drivers to do anything that comes to their mind and enjoy their ride to the fullest. That means this $8,700 Thundercat just doesn't do it anymore and has already lived its best years. If you don't want to be disappointed, don't buy this machine. Like, really. The 1995 ZRT800 ranks third place on our list, and thanks to the bad reputation, it definitely deserves it. However, if you know how to take care of it, you can even manage to get 12,000 miles out of it. That's the world record when it comes to the ZRT800, but before you can get to the promised 150 horsepower, the motor will most likely blow up on you. This ski mobile is fire, but not in a good way. So if you want to invest $8,000 and drive carelessly through the powder, the ZRT800 is not the best choice. The second place ranks not the worst, but still really bad snowmobile. The 93 Skidoo Formula Plus. The first thing you simply can't overlook is the bright red color and a not so aesthetically pleasing design. But those things wouldn't matter if everything else was perfect. Well, that's not the case. In order to enjoy its fullest potential on the trail, you need to take special care of this machine. Making sure the clutches are properly adjusted, the carbs and the valves are cleaned means more work than pleasure. But I mean, that's what you get with an older ski mobile for $5,600. Also, because of that, you can't expect much speed from this old boy. As all the facts state, this sled's horsepower is only 75. So if you don't want to be the only one everyone is going to make fun of, choose a different killer machine. The first place for being the worst snowmobile ever is taken by the 2002 Yamaha SX Viper. Reportedly, one venomous bite is all it takes for performance junkies to discover that this is one serious machine. But if you'd purchased it yourself, you'd soon find out that it is more like one venomous bite and you're done. First of all, it's even possible that you won't be able to go for a ride whenever you want because it is a pain when trying to start, especially if it's been sitting around in your garage for a long time. It will need like 2 to 40 pulls, so you have to be a patient person if you want to own one. Second of all, it looks like the SRX-inspired engine wasn't built for the powder, which is a shame because that's what snowmobiles are usually used for, right? 